you know, I'll be happy uh, going out there and, and giving my best. And, and maybe that's top five, maybe that's top ten. Could be better. I don't know. But uh, that's why we have the race. We'll go out and find out. He is known globally as the man who won the Tour de France seven consecutive times after beating cancer. Lance Armstrong has since retired from cycling. He is now an Xterra off-road triathlete. He is here this weekend at the 2011 Xterra World Championship in Maui. But before he was a world-class cyclist, he was a professional triathlete. So we asked Lance, why choose Xterra as your re-entry into the sport of triathlon? Obviously, you take away, um, you take away all elements of drafting on the bike, which then means the, the, the emphasis on the bike portion is typically uh, much more important. Uh, having said that, you can have these really hard runs where if you crater, then the race is over in a big way. Uh, but I think just between the laid back atmosphere and, and the emphasis on the bike. Besides Lance, the other big headline about this year's event was moving it from the south side of the island after 15 years here to the northwest side. Here's Lance talking about the challenges of this new two lap 1.5K rough water swim at DT Fleming Beach. You end up catching some people as you come back around. That will happen again here. Um, so you'll have to, you know, some of that is trying to navigate and weave through some of the lap swimmers, which uh, can provide somewhat of, a, of, a, of an issue, especially if you're swimming in and you're catching some big rollers and people are in the way. Um, could be interesting, but it, it'll be, it'll be chaos, yeah. Lance's swim fitness and speed has taken a lot of people by surprise, but his bike is still very much his strength. So, what kind of bike does one of the greatest cyclists of all time bring to an Xterra off-road triathlon here in Maui? Um, like I had in Ogden, I, had, I brought uh, my Superfly, a uh, 29er hardtail, uh, but I also brought the top fuel dual suspension, which is a 26-inch, so uh, I need to decide whether or not uh, I need dual suspension. And, of course, with both of those bikes, I have a, a wide variety of tire selections, and uh, we'll decide after the pre-ride today. Lance finished fifth at the Xterra USA Championship race in Ogden, Utah just four weeks ago. He was only five minutes back from the winner. Can he realistically win this race? And would he be surprised if he did? Yeah, I'd, be, I'd be really happy if I won it. So I guess that, that means I'd be surprised. I, I, I would be, sh maybe shocked is too big of a word or too strong of a word, but yeah, I, I'd, be, I'd be very pleasantly surprised. Lance joins more than 70 other professional athletes competing for the crown of Xterra World Champion on Sunday, October 23rd. And you can watch it all live online at XterraMaui.com beginning at 9 a.m. Hawaii time. This is Dave Erickson on assignment at the 2011 Xterra World Championship.